Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about how we can create a machine learning API. We are going to use Fast API for API creating, and we are going to use Scikit-Learn for creating a quick machine learning model. I'm going to be showing you how we can export the machine learning model you trained and how you can create an API service for getting predictions from it. Also, we are going to be talking about taking multiple predictions from the model in this video. This video is great if you are interested in taking your models outside of the Jupyter Notebooks and you need to learn about the APIs if you want to use your models in different apps or on the production systems. Let's start coding. Okay, so let's start. At the first place, I'm going to create a Jupyter Notebook like let's say model.ipmb and in here we are going to train our model then export it and then we are going to start creating our API. So I will select my kernel, something works, then I will say import numpy as mp import pandas as pd i will say from scikit-learn linear model i'm going to train a linear regression like this and also i'm going to import pickle because we are going to export our model now we are going to create a data set so let's say we are going to create a house price prediction problem and we need sizes in square feet so i will say random random integer i will pass 500 let's say 300 and 100 so we are going to have something like this for the sizes and also we need to give something like number of bedrooms so i will say bedrooms numpy random again random integer and let's say one and six we need hundreds of data samples i will say bedrooms we are going to have 100 data points like let me show you in here it's going to be 100 and now we are going to create prices so we also need to add some noise so i'm also going to do that let's say prices and it's going to be sizes multiplied by 0 0.3 plus bedrooms multiplied by 50 and let's say numpy random and random integer and in here we can just say like minus 200, 200, and we need 100 data points. So we are going to have something like this at the prices right now. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to create a data frame like data. I will pass pandas data frame in here. I will say like size, square feet, and it's going to be sizes. And bedrooms is going to be bedrooms and price is going to be prices so in here we can just say data hat for seeing it great we have our data frame ready okay now let's split features and target so x is going to be data let's say size square feet and also bedrooms and y is going to be data price and now we need to train the model so model is going to be a linear regression and after actually i have a typo after initializing the model what we are going to do is we will say model dot fit x and y so we have our linear regression model ready and let's quickly test the model like let's get predictions from it using model dot predict method so firstly let's create something like sample x and I'm going to give a two-dimensional array like I'm going to say 2003 and for the next one 1500 square feet two bedrooms so after that let's say model.predict sample x and here we can see that we are getting our predictions from model and we can see the price data great now we completed our model training site I kept this section as simple as possible because this is not the point of the video, but you can use the same method for every model, every type of data. And after this part, you can just copy with your model and it's going to work out for your model or data too. So let's save this model as pickle. Remember that we imported pickle at the top. So I will say with open ours price model.pickle and I will say write a mode and as f file pickle dump I will say model and f so 
here at the directory that I'm running my code, you don't see anything as a pickle object. But if I make this run, you are going to see that we are going to have house price model dot pickle. So this is what we are going to be working with. So I'm going to just close this Jupyter notebook. We are done with this and we have our pickle. Now we can create our fast API application. Let's create something like main.py. And in here, what we need is you can pip install this fast API UV coin. And after installing that, we are going to be cool on this site. So let's create our API. At the first place, we will say from first API, import first API like this. And next we will say import pickle. And we will say import numpy as np. And we will say from pydentic, import base model, which we are going to use for defining the input data model. And at the first place, we need to load the model in here. So I'm going to copy the relative path in here. And I will say with open and I will pass the relative path in here. Next, I will say read a mode and as file, then model is going to be equal to the pickle that load and I will pass the model. Next up, what we are going to do is we are going to initialize the fast API app. Like app is going to be fast API and title is going to be let's say house price prediction api and next what we are going to do is we are going to just define the input data how it's going to come like we are going to say class and we will say like house data and we are going to initialize the base model from pydentic here and next what we are going to do is we will say size square feet is going to be float and bedrooms is going to be integers so actually we have a typo in here so it needs to be uppercase okay so let's create the home section so i will say app and it's going to be a get method i will say like define home this is the message that we are going to be showing when users are reaching to our api address so I will say something like return and I will say message and welcome to the house price prediction API. And if users reach to the API address and just request it to the home, like the base section, they are going to see this message. And also how we can check this from UI is we can check this regular UI by, we can open the terminal and we can say ubicorn main app and we can pass reload for the developer mode like if you just host this with reload you are going to see that when you make a change on the api file it's going to be automatically updating the app that you have and also you can run this for the workers let's say two or four for the production modes but we are going to be developing this so i will say reload instead of this and when i make this run you are going to see that it says we'll watch for chains in these directories which comes from reload and it says uvicorn running on this address this is our local host and now we can reach to this api from this address like i'm going to go to this address just copy it and paste it on my browser and show you how it's looking right now here you can see that we are on this address the local host and we can see our message at the default directory and i'm just going to go to the documents page like where we can see our endpoints and api documentation like for that we need to say documents like this and when we do that we are going to see that we only have the home method and we don't have any endpoints so we are going to start defining them but if you are going to be working with uh, api documentation the address that you are going to be using is going to be this address after hosting it locally. Like you can test your endpoints from here and everything like let's say try it out and when we say execute we are going to see that the code is 200 which means that it worked successfully and now it returns the message like welcome to the house price prediction API which we defined and we can test our API methods like this. So let's go back to the code editor. 
and also we can see the tested endpoints from the terminal so I'm not going to close that I will just make it like this and I'm going to be using it so I'm not going to close the hosting and now we need to create the prediction endpoint so what I'm going to do is I will say it's going to be a post method and it's going to be at the predict endpoint so I will say define predict price and we are going to give the data as house data that we created in here it's pretty important and firstly we are going to convert input to a numpy array so I will say features and it's going to be numpy array I will say data dot here after that we are going to get the size square feet like data dot size square feet and data dot bedrooms and next up I will say prediction is going to be model dot predict the features and next up what we are going to do is we are going to say return a predicted price and it's going to be float prediction and the first index of it so here I created my predict endpoint and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this file and I'm going to sh show you how it changes on the terminal like it's going to update the API here you can see that state reload detected change in the main.py reloading and our API restarted so that I'm going to be recording at the same address on my browser and showing you the new endpoint we just defined so here I'm just going to refresh this page and you can see that we have the predict endpoint in here also we have the schemas in here and we have the house data like this the beauty of the Python tick with fast API is it just automatically defines the schemas in your documentation so let's use the predict endpoint and test it I'm going to say try it out here and let's say 200 let's say 100 1500 or something like that and let's say 4 for the bedrooms so when we say execute if we say 200 in here it means that our API is working successfully yeah we see the 200 code and we see the response body here the predicted price is 610 so our API is working successfully right now this is one way that we can test our API endpoints and I'm going to show you the other in the code editor right now before that let's change these numbers and see the change in the response like let's say two for the bedrooms and increase the size here we get the new price okay let's go back to the code editor here also in the code editor we can see that we have the post predict is 200 so how we can test it else is you host it in here from other terminal page use a tool like curl or you can use postman or you can even use a Jupyter notebook or Python script for testing it so let's do that I'm going to create a Jupyter notebook like test.ipmb and in here since this API is hosted I can send requests to it so I will say like import requests and URL is going to be HTTP our local host address like this 8000 we are hosting on that and we will say predict and next up I will say payload we are going to give the payload like size square feet is going to be let's say thousand and bedrooms is going to be like two so let's save this up and I will say response it's going to be requests post URL and JSON is going to be payload like this now we get our response in here and I'm just going to show you what it looks like if you just call the response like this you're only going to see the HTTP code like 200 it means that response is successfully retrieved we can say JSON for seeing what's inside and here we have the predicted price 375 also let's reach to that like predicted price and we are going to get the price directly so in your programs after hosting your API like this you can just call it like this and you can start using it in your programs okay now let's say that we want to get multiple predictions from our API 
Let's do that. We are going to define a new class in here in our API, like multiple houses. And let's say base model in here again for initializing it. And it's going to be houses. And in here, we are going to take a list like house data. So after that, we are going to create a new endpoint, like let's say app post. And I will say like in here, predict batch and define after this predict batch and data is going to be multiple houses and features are going to be like numpy array and we will say again two dimensional house size square feet and house bedrooms like this and after that what we are going to do is we are going to use like for us in data that houses so right now we are taking each house separately in here next up what i'm going to do is i will say predictions is going to be model the predict features and next up we are going to return predicted prices like predictions to list so we have predict batch endpoint ready right now we take the list of house data and next what we do is we extract all of them separately then we get predictions also in here in this class we are using the house data that we created in here too okay let's check how it looks from the api documentation but i'm just going to test it from the jupyter notebook again so let's do that so here I'm just going to refresh this page and we have the predict batch ready in here. We can see that we have the houses list and in the list we are waiting size, square feet and bedrooms. Okay, let's go back to the Jupyter notebook for testing it. Okay, in here I'm going to go to test IPMB and next up what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this URL in here and I'm going to change the predict, white predict and batch so i'm going to make this run next up i will create a payload like let's say houses at the top and i'm going to give a list like let's say size square feet and let's say 2000 and bedrooms let's say three next up i will say size square feet and i will say 1500 bedrooms i will say two and next up i will say size square feet let's say like 3200 and bedrooms five i think it's enough let's get the predictions for three i will say response and i will say requests post url is going to be the address that we give in here and the payload is going to be like json equals payload so here we can get see that we have the 200 response from the terminal also we can get it like this and also we can see the inner data like this so we have the predicted prices list of 718 525 and 1165 so i'm going to stop hosting this like i'm going to just do control c in here and you can see that it says waiting for application shutdown application shutdown complete finished server process stopping reloader process so we just stopped our api and in here this easily we can use fast api for creating endpoints for our machine learning models that was it for this tutorial let's get to the outro thanks for watching this machine learning tutorial i have a playlist named machine learning tutorials where I have more than 40 videos just like this one. You can check that playlist for more videos like this. Also, I'm sharing new data science videos every week on my channel. You can subscribe for more. Have a great day.